Hello class, this is Mom Says, signing on. This video lecture will talk about overloading methods in Java with sample program. Let's begin. In our sample program here, we have multiple methods with the same name, which is the grid method. That's where the overload method comes in. Let's go beyond with the actual program. Let's create a sample program of an overloading method in Java. So as usual, we start with by clicking the file menu and then click new project. Then again, do not forget to click Java in the categories. Then in the project, click Java Applications, and then click Next button. So we'll name this Last Name Overloading. So that would be our project name. Again, do not forget the Create Main class should be checked and then click the finish button then wait for the NetBeans to create the new project so once the project template is created again you remove the comments and just leave a single comment for your signature After inserting your signature in your source code and clearing the other comments that is not needed in our program, you may now start writing your code. Here's now our sample program that shows an overloading methods. As you can see, we have here methods, multiple methods. We have one, two, three methods with one shared name, which is grid. Looking at the code, we have here our main class, which calls the three methods. Our first method here, the grid, which only displays the text greetings from method greet and then our second method here and the details starts at line 17 which displays the message greetings number and then the value of i here which starts at number one initial initialize at one using the for loop and then would again display from method greet with arguments therefore the message here would be greetings number the value of i from method greet with arguments since the value of i starts at one and then we have the for loop here and we declare the second method to loop up to five therefore the possible output here would be the message will be displayed five times for our third method here with an instance of z again with the same name which is grid with an initial value of 10 which is a decimal number or double the type of the variable with a passing parameter of x therefore 
for our third, met third methods here, the value of 10 here will be passed through the x. And our x now here with the operation y equals x plus x that makes 10 plus 10 coming from the instantiation here. So we have 10 plus 10 equals 20, therefore the value of y would become 20.0. All these methods, three multiple methods with different arguments, different behavior or operations makes the overloading method. Now let's run our program to check the output. Again, how to run our program? Simply right click on the source code and then click run file. Here's now the result of our source code. An example of an overloading method. As you can see from our main class here, we have three methods with one shared name which is grit and let's take a look at the output so we have here the output for our first method so this is the resulting value output of our first method this one from line 13 to 15 And this output here is the resulting value from our second method, this one with the for loop. And then the 20.0 here is the resulting value of our third method. With passing parameter from Z to X. So all in all, this is the sample program that shows an overloading methods. The challenge now is you create your own version of Java program that shows an example of an overloading method. And that ends our discussion. Hope these quotes inspires you as you develop your programming skills. And so that's it. Watch out for more video lectures. Stay safe and God bless everyone. Thank you for watching. This is Mom Says, signing off.